Well, the checks are in the mail. The state is distributing one and a half billion dollars in worker compensation dividends to employees all over the state. In at least one case, those dividends are going to trickle down directly to employees. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart is here to tell us where those checks and that money is coming from. Ted? Well, companies are actually spending more money on safety, and workers are filing fewer claims for injuries, and the state has been getting strong returns on its investments. So the end result of all of that is that the Bureau of Workers' Compensation has more money than it needs, so they're giving some of it back. Over the past 20 years, the number of injured worker claims in Ohio has dropped by nearly two-thirds. At Ryder Stucco, President Fritz Ryder says 20 years ago, their workers' compensation premium cost about $200,000 a year, and on-the-job injuries were a regular thing. We would have some kind of injury probably every two, three months. Uh, recently, we've gone the last two and a half years without a recordable accident. Ryder says they got serious about safety, investing in employee training and workplace safety improvements. Field Superintendent Jason Adkins confirms that safety is now a big part of the company culture. Because safety cost, man. One way, or, one way or another, look at it positively or negatively. You know, it costs for all the stuff you got to do, but if you're not safe, it's really going to cost. By investing in safety and reducing injuries and accidents, the company's workers' compensation premium has dropped to about a quarter of what it was 20 years ago. And this year, they're getting $39,000 back money that they've decided to distribute to their 50 employees. We decided to share it with our employees because they're the ones that make, you know, drive our, keep our premiums low, uh, and they're the ones out every day uh, that we depend to be, you know, uh, safety focused. And Fritz Ryder said that the company's safety record is now not only saving them money, it's also a strong selling point when they're competing for jobs. Local for you, Ted Hart, NBC4. All right, Ted, thank you.